started off in a thing i had lot of hurdles in between i had i had films which didn't work i uh, went through a lull where uh, i wasn't getting very interesting offers uh, i took literally a uh, you know i held back the best thing i did was i did not sell myself cheap when i say yeah. sell myself cheap i don't mean in a way where you know cheapness or something in the sense i did not do any anything that came up yeah. you know today also when i talk about shandar i don't i don't dodge it yeah i you didn't ask me about shandar i spoke about yes, it true. like you said it didn't do well the film didn't do well at all i did rehearsals for a song of saturday night fever so now when you go back you see the song so the movements are not of akia milai it is more of john travolta hello in the complete times my name is jigar shah sanjay sir i have a, i have a very very good memory of you of watching raja in a cinema hall oh lovely that's fantastic so yeah so i have i have literally have technically grown up watching you in cinema or watching you in film and I, I, and for me the best part was i have seen you i saw you in television i saw you in film then i saw you on ott so i've seen in all three of us uh how does it feel that you capture or you, or you venture into all three aspects of cinema and television well it feels good and uh, i've done it successfully that is the most important thing it's just not that i've been part of it uh, be it films uh, though tv i have not done a lot but yeah. i did a one show called dil samal ja zara which yes. was a huge huge success and i'm very 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 extremely proud to be associated it's a with it show. I fact, love yes the, I and love even that today song. Yeah. even even today uh, when i meet a lot of people from all over the world uh, not just in india they talk about dil samal ja zara with and they keep on saying ke wo band kyu ho gaya yeah. season 2 kyu kab kyu nahi aa raha hai kya ho raha hai everything so yeah it was a great show and uh, that, in fact that was dil samal ja zara and last stories happened simultaneously yeah. Yeah. and that was the the changing time for sanjay kapoor you know that i got into ott yeah. my acting career just you know like took off like a rocket and uh, so it was dil samal ja zara where the audience is concerned and i think so last stories where the film industry is concerned i think so a lot of people don't in the industry don't watch a lot of tv or the casting directors and everything yeah. but the audience definitely they watch a lot of tv so i think the simultaneously it happened within 6 months in fact i shot it you know obviously uh, la stories was just a 6 day shoot yeah. and dil samal jazara being a tv show we shot for like 6 months yeah but great great memories and i feel extremely fortunate to do all the three in a very very uh, like i said to get success in all three uh, mediums is not easy but yeah god has been kind True. so how so it's been 23 years since the game came out no 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 28 saal ho gaya hai it came in 1995 95 95 in may prem came recently second june we just crossed that yeah. raja came on june yeah. i had another movie called kartavya which came in september and then came bekabu bekabu came in 96 january so actually before my first release that was prem i was shooting for these four films plus another film called chupa rostam yeah. with uh, manisha gorala and mamta so as a newcomer i was one of the rare times of <laughs> that, that time that i was very very busy and basically all these five films they must have come one after the other yeah. but when i was facing the camera i was in front of that i was actually a newcomer because meri koi film nahi lagi thi ha but newcomer for technically yes but then after after first film you kind of don't become don't even newcomer you no but for, nahi, but the, what what i mean is see you are new till the time your first film releases yeah. because you have yet not the audience has not yeah, seen audience you seen audience has not accepted you so when you are in front of the camera you may be shooting probably 300 days in 3 of of a year mm. but still every time you face the camera you are still new because you don't know how the audience is going to react to you so that's the reason i had back to back uh, releases uh, you know and i was very for, you know in fact tips at that time i'd come out with a cassette i still remember because i I've, i've had very good music yeah. and uh, they came out of a cassette called hits of sanjay kapoor before my first picture released are baba ha so us zamane mein jab music hota tha 3 mahine pehle aata tha ab to kya hota na promotion is done 15 days 20 days earlier pehle wo music release hota tha fir wo music ke gaane bajte the aur fir they used to be this you know top countdown hota tha ke number 1 gaana kaun sa hai ho so he came out mr torani is came out with this cassette Uh, because they had bekabu they were the producers uh, of that film they had raja uh, w- with them they were the audio company of it yeah. 
and kartavya was i think so with indirectly with them that was a western thing so they came out with hits of sanjay kapoor kartavya had the song aati nahi no aati nahi was from prem kartavya had pyar mein dil ka murga and i remember that aati nahi wo in white suit white white, white suit. jacket white jacket yeah. i was yeah. that was the yeah, so the first the first shot i gave in my life uh way back 89 december that was the first shot i gave was for aati nahi that was the start of my uh to be in front of the camera wow and you looked so good in that i still Thank remember you. it i still remember it i still remember watching i still remember that how in the prem ka prem ka climax you have you are in that boat and you were just rowing <laughs> it down i think so my ba- back problem was started because of the <laughs> <laughs> boat yeah chote se boat mein mai aur tabu baithe rehte the from every from the studio to hugnigal we went to seattle for prem where i had to in wow. the in the rapids i used to i had to ride that and sitting in that awkward position yeah so good memories yeah. even though i got a back problem after that <laughs> that's it's it's a it's part of good, it yeah it's a good uh, uh, what you call it is a good effect to have for a for a big launch that you had at Absol- that time absolutely absolutely so yeah now sanjay sir uh, how do you look at um, uh, so as as things went by uh, success doesn't always come very easily to of course people. it didn't and for me it took you know it started off in a thing i had lot of hurdles in between yeah. i had i had films which didn't work i uh, went through a lull where uh, i wasn't getting very interesting offers uh, i took literally a uh, you know i held back yeah. i did not sign any riff raff films i got into production because mujhe bhi khane peene ke liye kaam karna tha apne bachcho ko aur biwi ko sambhal le kaam to sab ko karna padta so i got into production but I, what i think so the uh, the the best thing i did was i did not sell myself cheap when i say yeah. sell myself cheap i don't mean in a way where you know cheapness or something in the sense i did not do any anything that came up you yeah. know i waited for the right opportunity i said okay, even if it's like when a luck by chance came i i did it even luck by chance i was very very reluctant really yeah you know like out of my neck you thought i would have felt like shit because you, you, that was the first you actually was so good yeah so first time content. you know zoya so zoya was after me zoya knew me before uh, uh, you know obviously uh, we've known each other for the longest of time and she was she just knew that i was that character so she was after me and i was i was still that was the first ensemble of him i was thinking you know when you've played a hero hero suddenly yeah. you're there yeah. i knew farhan is there and i knew so many other actors are there i said what am i doing in everything she said be pay okay she said okay you take a decision you hear the dialogues the dialogues are just getting completed in 15 20 days but she was hell bent that i do that role and that's the reason she is in that position because she could have got a superstar to my because she did she get a she you know ritik roshan did a yeah. cameo on that yeah. she could have had any big star doing a cameo for my role also yeah. but i think so she just saw chintu and me as brothers and she just knew my sense of humor and she knew she knew me in person yeah. and at that time people had not seen the today when bollywood revives have happened or a luck by chance has happened so people have seen that humor in me yeah. Yeah. by then people and what she had seen that so she just knew that and she was hell bent that i do that role and she actually literally i can say chased me to the, to that film and when i heard the dialogues and everything i realized i may be having eight scenes in the film only but jab wo art scene hai wo mere scene hai yeah. and i felt those were my moments you know whether the scene was with rithik who's one of the best co actors i worked with so giving unbelievable whether it was farhan they were so everybody at that time that was the time it was things were changing where you know that star thing was getting over yeah. where the person who's in front of the camera jaise main agar mera shot hai to i am the star yeah. so it was an amazing amazing experience yeah. so coming back to that so when i did get a good offer uh you know i did that like i got shandar again it was an so ensemble cast same thing how much i liked you in shandar yeah. so so work, yeah but, so that's okay but, see but, but you were film like, you film working on yeah you're, you're, film you're, 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 you're playing that Lousy because you have character. to you have to enjoy when you are on set you are working with good people a good director and you are enjoying doing that role that's the main thing then success and everything that's not in your hands you have to give your best shot but you have to be today also when i talk about shandar i don't i don't dodge it yeah i you didn't ask me about shandar i spoke about yes, it true. like you said true. it didn't do well the film didn't do well at all yeah. but i'm still 
happy that I was associated with it because we, I had fun doing that role. I had fun working with, you know, the whole unit, the team, Vikas, everybody. So it was, it was good. I worked with Chayad, you know, I'm working again, again with him in yeah. Bloody Daddy. So how, how was it, the, shift, the shift from then to now? The roles are very different. Very, yeah, the roles are very, there I was playing this funny, absolutely crazy Sindhi character, a loud. Yeah, gold everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. He was wearing gold, I still remember, wearing gold boots and gold chains. Even my first shot was coming out and there was a yes, the gold, sparkle, yeah. there was a sparkle. And I had this Sindhi accent with, uh, I used to go for... Uh, Tarun uh, Mansukani is a oh. Sindhi, so I used to go to him for a little dialect kind yeah, of a thing. Tarun. And he used to, yeah, Tarun, I used to go to, Love you know, him. I spent two, three days, two, two hours with him. Bapre. He's a very funny guy and when yeah, he talks yeah, in yeah. Sindhi, he's, he's even more funnier. Really? Yeah, yeah, he's very, yeah, so he had that dialect and whatever it is. So I had fun doing it, yeah. The same thing today now when I did Bloody Daddy, you know, I got this chance of working again uh, with an amazing director and Mr. Ali Abbas and when he called me, to his office and he said, this is what I want you to do. I want you to be part of it and everything. And I sat in the car, I crossed my fingers. I said, I just hope my role is good enough. I want to work with him. Mm. But one thing was for sure that I would not do it if I didn't think my role is good enough. I want to work with you. And I explained to a lot of people when they call me, I go and meet them and everything. I said, Sir, I want to work with you. But if I have to work with you, you know, there has to be some meat in it. True. Yeah. True. But, you know, the, otherwise, it'll be a waste. So I was just hoping uh, that, you know, and when I heard the part and the way he had the look in his mind and the way he wanted to present it and everything, and which everybody can see, True. you know, it's just not happened by chance. Yeah. We, you know, we worked on it. We sat on it. We decided to give that, you know, that look. So, yeah, so it, it worked and I'm really, really looking forward to it. The response is unbelievable for the trailer where my uh, look is concerned that little one, two scenes of yeah. in the trailer, with the teaser, they've seen it. They're liking the way this character has come up. Yeah, so people are in, uh, they're going to enjoy watching Hamid in Bloody Diary. Though it's a negative role, yeah. but you'll still see, see him with a smile. Yeah. Negative is also good. People I love good. negative. Yeah. <laughs> I love negative. Yeah, you've played quite a few. I have done. Yeah, I, I started with Koi Mere Dil Se Puche. Yeah. Then I did a movie called Kayamat. Yeah. Then I've done a lot of grey, yeah. like, like fame game when I did recently with... Yeah. Uh, Madhuri uh, uh, recently, which came on Netflix. Uh, again, he was he he though he was a obsessed husband. He loved his wife, but he had a lot of grey in yes, him. Yes. So I kind of I think so maybe grey suits me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, one of my high points of of you was you dancing to. Uh, from the song uh, of Raja in, in uh, Mission Mangal. Mission Mangal. I was like, shit, I was jumping on my seat. But so I saw it. Okay, so now, it, so now, it, no, no, no okay, okay, okay. So I also saw it in the theatres because when the movie released, I was travelling, so I couldn't see the trial. I came back and I saw it at PVR and then suddenly when the interval happened and the song had happened or something and when they realised I was there, they were everybody was talking about Raja. Because nowadays, your, you know, shelf life has increased so much because every movie is, you know, on a remote controller. Yeah. So you can watch the songs are playing like like on your indirect Instagram or messages yeah. or anytime anybody is posting your music is be it Sirif Tum, be it uh, yeah. Raja, it keeps on keeps on playing. So when that song happened and people saw it and I saw the audience enjoying that song and the very fact that I think I'm one of the few actors who has done a remix version of oh, his own song yeah. and done it himself. True. You know, normally other actors have True. done it. So, but the funny part is, which not a lot of people, uh, so during the shooting, it was never going to be the Raja song. Really? I did rehearsals for a song of Saturday Night Fever. So now when you go back, you see that song. So the movements are not of Akhiya Milai. It is more of John Travolta's. Hey, bro, it is what? just that it's been edited like that. They did not get the rights of that song of Saturday Night Fever. So wow. they came out with this brilliant idea and you know, sometime when things have to go right, this is how it goes right. True. It would have been, I was dancing on Saturday Night Fever song. Uh, but, but Night Fever really, song. Yeah. So, I, so I, now when you see the song, otherwise it would have been like I would have done the... Yeah. So it's not that. But it's been so brilliantly edited and you know, cut that you feel that I shot for it. It was never. The music which was being played was Saturday Night Fever. They did wow. not get the rights wow. of that. So they put... Akhiya Milai song I in it. I genuinely thought it, because it's you, they put Akhiya Milai. No, it was never meant to be that. genuinely thought because it's a like great recall. Yeah. Because, you were there because they were wanting to, in my childhood, I was, 
you know that role was that ke when i was young i was the character was that ke i may be very serious now yeah. but i had life too yeah. i used to dance on in college in to yeah. college matlab ke that was the late 70s yeah. saturday night fever so that's how the thought was they didn't got oh. get the rights and it became a blessing in this guys there's now money but understand how difficult is it to acting in front of camera of course it is time. I remember when she started shooting for Bollywood Vice. She said, "God, they're making me work so much. Five hours I've shot. You know, this happened, and then I had to do costume and everything." I said, "Hello, we work for twelve hours a day. So you know, so now obviously she, obviously when you are in front of the camera, when when the uh, you know the sound guy says AC band karo, when you're sweating, hmm. so many things are happening. It's not you know it's not a cake walk to be in front of the camera." <laughs> so does she take acting tips from you now? No, she doesn't need acting skills. She, I think, so she's done a fantastic, so job. fantastic job. Yeah, sure. and she, she does. In fact, if I give her acting, if she starts acting, she'll be very bad, because she's just being herself mm-hmm. and she's enjoying herself. That's the reason she's coming across so positively, and people are loving her because she's being herself. So she's not, uh, you know, she's not trying to act like someone. She's mm-hmm. just being very honest, and I think so. That's how this show is working because everybody is trying to be what they are. Uh, so, so that's the reason the show is working. Okay. Uh, as a father, your daughter is going to be launched very soon. Are you scared for her launch, or are you confident that she can pull off? No, there is always uh, even after today, after working for thirty years, when you start a new project, today Bloody Daddy is releasing. You always have butterflies. Okay, what the audience is going to, whether they're going to like it, whether they're going to like what you've done. You are very happy with the look. You are very, very happy the way it's turned up. But it's not necessary what you like the audience. So the insecurity is always there. So, be it a newcomer or be it a person who's done hundred films or worked for fifty years, that insecurity and that if you don't have butterflies, if you are that overconfident, then then everything is over for you because you know you become bigger than the role, you become bigger than the team. You feel that it's you which is working. It's never you which works. It is the team which works. It's the content which works. It is it. That's the reason it is a it's a teamwork. So everybody has to work. from the smallest person you know to the person who is you know directing it for me he is the captain of the ship yeah. so everybody has to you know his contribution is the maximum the directors but everybody has to you know the makeup person the the production designer the actor the writer the person who is giving the music everybody has to contribute towards towards that film or that show only then it works yeah. but the day you start work feeling that is working because of you being part of it ke jo main star hu mujhe dekhne sab aa rahe hain ha pehle do teen din ke liye aapko dekhne aayenge but baad mein film chalti hai abhi to pehle do din bhi nahi aate agar content nahi hota to good thank you so much for your time sir not at all pleasure is all mine